most valuable points are at stake as the drivers battle to reach the final. Nick Harris is your commentator. A vital race for competitors in the national class, round four, and for some of them their last chance to progress towards the final. Well, you remember round one, we had the mighty coming together of number 26, Jeanette Peak, the 17-year-old from Radstock near Bath, and number 27, Paul Azan from Guernsey. This Peak, the 17-year-old, was leading the race to the very last moment when she collided with Mr. Azan. Few words were exchanged and their chances of success had gone. Now the grid now forming up a little bit of a tangle on the dummy grid. That looks well for the race to come, but they are going to let them go, so the race is underway. Seven and a half laps of this time in Bridgard, playing the Raceway. Round four of the Nationals, into the village line for the very first time, safely through, leading the way is number 18 in the lead, and that's Neil Hahn leads. And a couple of them flash as they go over the finish line, into the hairpin, Hahn leads in second place. Number 87, Craig Cordwell. But Hans still leads as they go round the loop towards Pitts Bend. That's a long right hander at the far end of the circuit, Pitts Bend. This is the, the middle class of the seniors. A large choice of tyres, 100 cc edges. Oh, and a spin there. He puts his hands up. No wonder he puts his hands up. He doesn't want anybody to hit him. But Richard Gregory takes a fair old man then from number 27 as he comes through. But everybody, that's Paul Ozan, our friend from Guernsey. Involved in that one, I think very lucky that uh, nobody was seriously hurt in that incident. You can just see how quickly things do happen in karting there. But everybody's safely through, they're now on their second lap. This is at the hairpin, the, the, the people at the far end of the field. Back with the leader though, Neil Hard, oblivious of all the happenings behind him. He's into Pitts Bend. Hard still leading. Now coming over the start line, the fastest part of this place is in Raceway Circuit. In second place now, number 38, that's Richard Trick, uh, sorry, number 33, Simon Richardson in second place. These are the two champs are on the front row of the grid. In third place, number 87, going extremely well there, 87, but up now towards the hairpin. And there we go, number 87, that's Craig Caldwell. So hard leads, Richardson in second place, Caldwell third, up towards Pitts Bend again. That's the leader, Neil Hart. Opening up a little bit of a gap over Simon Richardson. And good place, race for third, fourth place at the moment. And now catching up with the back markers, and that's Paul Evans and Cornwell. Fighting for third and fourth place as they approach Billy's blind. That nasty right-hander where most of the incident up. Oh, and number 15's out there. That's Russell Maple, his right row tank's cried enough from Tiverton in there, but he's out of the race. Back with the leaders, hard lead, which is in second place. Still a good race for third between Cornwell and Paul Evans. Everybody else now up the hairpin, up towards Pittsbend, back with the leaders. Neil Hahn, he's safely through Pittsbend. Third and fourth, still going hard. Craig Corbin and Paul Evans, plus the battle for third and fourth. Up towards Billy's line. They've got three laps to go. They're already catching up with the back mark, and it doesn't make life very easy for the leader, Neil Hahn. And third and fourth, and they're still going hammer and tongs at each other. Craig Corbin and Paul Evans. Side by side as they come up towards the hairpin, and he's sneaked through now. Paul Evans is up into third place. Good bit of driving there. Up towards Pitts Bend again. He's opening up a fair old lead now, Neil Hart. Still in second place, number 33, Simon Richardson. Third and fourth, still close enough. That's Craig Corbin and Paul Evans. Craig Corbin now up into third place. Paul Evans is fourth. Down towards Billy's line. That right hander then into the S's. Hard still. Every point, of course, absolutely vital now because people fighting for positions in the final. They started three different group positions in their three appearances in the heat, in the different rounds. And so now everybody battling for vital points. The man battling out front at the moment is Neil Hart. Simon Richardson in second place. Down part, through the fastest part. And Jeanette Peake from the last but one row of the grid is up in the seventh place. So a tremendous drive by her after her misfortune in the earlier rounds. This is still the battle for fourth place. Spotting up all the way around the circuit. In fact, it's now turning into a battle for second place. Everybody closing up. That's Neil Harno, still the leader. He's on his last lap now at the hairpin. This is the race for the second and third place. And an incident down at Village Slide with a number of carts on. As you can see, the track is completely blocked at the moment. Will they be able to get through before the leaders get there? The, people, uh, the red flag and the race has been stopped. The race has been stopped. An incident at Billy's Blind on the very la on the last but one lap, as the leader in fact was on his last lap. The race has been stopped. 
Well, the race positions at that point were allowed to stand. So a win for the experienced Neil Han of Gillingham in Dorset. And that 25-point victory has shot Neil Han to the top of the national table after four rounds. But he's only two points clear of Ricky Flynn from Chessent and four ahead of Paul Evans of Wokingham. What about Richard Gregory from Watford, though, who ended up the wrong way round? Well, Richard, what's it like to suddenly sort of find yourself facing the wrong way with everybody else coming straight towards you? It's uh, a little bit frightening. Like they live, so. What happened there? Uh, I was a bit overcame, put a wheel on, once it hit the grass, that's it, just found me around, fighting the wrong one. Then what do you do? Just sort of put your hand up and sort of just try and warn everyone? Just hope that they don't hit <laughs> That's the thing. In the Britain's race, we saw a great tussle for second place between number six, Richard Beecroft from North Yorkshire, and number 20, Andy Clark of Dorchester. There's just over a lap to go. Up into third place now, we have Andy Clark. So Andy Clark now up into second place. So it's Gibbs leading, Beecroft, Clark and Ann. This is the leader again. Gibbs leads, Clark now up into second place. But no, he's back in front, Richard Beecroft is back into second place. This is the battle of the second, they almost touch as they go round the left-hander at the loop. But he's done it again. Richard Beecroft still hanging on at Pitt's bed. Round the right-hander over the, over the finish line. This is the battle for second. Richard Beecroft and Andy Clark side by side as they approach finish line. Absolutely side by side. Just holding the advantage again is Beecroft. That's the leader, 39. Darren Gibbs still leading. Darren Gibbs on the last lap and Darren Gibbs at the head. This is the battle for second. He's done it again. He's got up inside. And the sixth has done it again. That's Richard Beecroft. Oh, 26 out of the race. 26, that's Edward Moore on the driving the Zap for there from Wiltshire. He's out of the race. Back with the leader though, number 38, 39. And this is the battle for second. This is Richard Beecroft and number 20, that's Andy Clark. A good battle. That's the leader now. 20 over the finish line, over the start line for last time. Now through finish line, the chicken flag being ready for him. This is Darren Gibbs. A good race by Darren Gibbs. He has to fight hard for the leader. And there's the chicken flag. But who is he going to be in second place? We look, in fact, at second place in the end is Richard Beecroft and Clark in third place. A good battle there for second and third. But no doubt about the win. I had to battle hard to get into the lead. But a win for Darren Kim. It's the karting kids who are ready to shine next.